Hi there, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming back for another iShoot Reno tutorial on using iOS apps and continuing our walk through iPhoneography uh, through the eyes of iShoot Reno. Uh, today, we're here to talk about a really cool new app that I literally have not even tried yet, but I'm so excited about wanted to share with you in this video. It's called Alien Sky, and you'll see it in the bottom right hand corner here of our screen. And this is the first time I'm launching this app, but I think we uh, will have some fun together here today. So as you can see, it likes to flip around a little bit. Uh, these guys made lens light and lens flare, so you may be familiar. I usually like to work in the landscape mode when I work with their products. But let's choose a photo here from the old photo library. No, we want one of these. Something with the sky. All right, here's something. Okay, so you can see it's chosen like a default thing here. It looks like Saturn. So let's click that. Actually, I'm going here. It's the second bottom uh, button from the bottom left. Looks like the planet that's shown on the screen. I'm just going to click that. And hey, maybe that was Saturn. Uh, so it looks like we have a lot of really cool stuff in here. Uh, blue rings, different types of rings, um, different skies, alien skies, uh, crescent moon, crescent planet type shapes. Um, let's see what we can put behind that that bird. Can we put Jupiter two there? Let's let's scroll all the way to the right here. Oh, we got fireballs and blue suns, different suns. I'm a big fan of the suns. I'm a big fan of the suns. And oh, the setting sun. Yeah, let's. Oh man, there's so much here. Oh, we just keep scrolling forever. I know one of my main uh, things about lens light and lens flare was there just didn't seem to be enough. I, that's why I got both of them. Uh, but it looks like they've done a good job here of including a bunch of different effects. Uh, let's try getting that setting sun in there. Yeah. I mean, that could be kind of cool. You can see where I'm going with this. It might not be the exact right, you know, sun for the bird here. But we can do cool things like change the colors. We can make it way more suited to whatever picture you're editing. But uh, this is really great, guys. You guys did a great job. We get all kinds of filters here too. Let's try like a green lines. Oh, interesting. So you can really change the whole mood of what's going on here. And just like the other apps, uh, Lens Light and Lens Flare, you can press that button, the second one from the bottom right. You can either render add effect to add more to it, or you can save it. And just, I wish they would um, allow you to click this thing in the bottom left here, like by default. So you could just have that always selected because I don't know, for me, I got kind of fat fingers and it seems a little difficult to press, but I, I got my first time here, but in lens light and lens flare, it takes me a little while. I usually even click that button and sometimes I forget. And I like to make prints uh, so you can hang this kind of stuff on your wall or wherever you may be, like in your cubicle or whatever, just to like spice it up. So. You know, having a high resolution is very important uh, in the workflow and having to go back and do stuff uh, you know, when people want it. And you don't have a high enough resolution kind of sucks. So, you know, whatever. But yeah, you could save that. And it's going to give you a bunch of save options so you can send that to another app or you can save it to your photo library. Yeah, well hey, there you go. That's a quick and dirty run through of Alien Sky by these guys who did our favorite apps for, you know, finishing up uh, Lens Light and Lens Flare. So check it out in the iTunes App Store. It's pretty cool.